What I eat in a day on a mostly raw, low-fat vegan diet from August 29th, 2013. Seven years ago. All right, a little over seven years ago. Wow. Here's what a typical day has looked like for me over the past five months eating a mostly raw food diet that includes some cooked foods. Yeah, so this was when I was eating raw. This was after I gave up on eating all raw and started incorporating some uh, like potatoes and beans and stuff into my diet. I know I have a uh, another one of these re reacting to when I was raw videos where I reacted to a what I ate today when I was like fully raw. That was a uh, not great. <laughs> So I'm assuming this one is going to be much better than that. So here we have breakfast. This is a, just a fruit smoothie, a banana smoothie. It honestly could be the smoothie that I currently make that I love. That's a little bit of banana, peanut powder, a little bit more, you know, protein powder, soy milk, and whatever else little flavorings I put in there. But I don't think that's what this is. I think this is just mostly bananas. So this is pretty typical for me just having either just fruit or a fruit smoothie or a green smoothie uh, for breakfast. And this is what I, ah, cicada. Ah. <laughs> that is one thing I do not miss coming out to the Pacific Northwest. Oh my God, there are no cicadas. I prefer frozen bananas, which gives the smoothie a thicker, richer texture and taste. Yes, that is true. I still do that. I cannot drink a smoothie with just regular room temperature bananas. Ugh, yuck. So this is just a banana smoothie, as I said, with four small bananas and some walnut milk that I made myself. You can check out my nut milk video for that uh, with a little bit of cinnamon and vanilla extract and water. And that's it. And it's really, really good. I mean, it's got potassium. It's got fiber. Got some omega threes from the from the walnut milk. Maybe some protein. Just throw a scoop of protein powder in there. Not bad. Hey, little buddy, you having breakfast too? Oh, I hope it was delicious. I'm like talking to that bug like I like bug. No. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Am I just like I'm a vegan? I better be nice to this creature. No. To start with, usually I have some fruit. So here I have a couple uh, actually it's like three peaches I think and then I move on to oh shit <laughs> I was about to say man those that's a lot of peaches and then holy shit <laughs> uh, beans you can see some pinto beans in there so typically I'll have wait so what's the dressing what's happening usually romaine usually um, like one to two heads of romaine this is about one large head and then one cup of beans so anything from pinto beans to lentils to uh, really anything chickpeas. I really like chickpeas and then I also have a nut based dressing so often it's just nuts blended with water basically and um, But here I have a really tasty hemp ranch seed dressing that is from The raw project. I do remember that. I think that was actually tasty. I said I put a link I did. Not a typical YouTuber. They say they put a link and they never put a damn link. Hemp seeds, water, garlic, parsley, onion powder, dill weed, salt, lemon juice, black pepper. Hey, that doesn't, that's probably pretty good. It might be a little much. Maybe do like half hemp seeds and half cashew, something like that. I, I think I've made something like that fairly recently. That doesn't sound bad at all. And again, more omega threes. So that's awesome. Definitely an improvement over the, <laughs> the fully raw one where it was just fruit. I think it was just mangoes or something. Although, so it's a ranch dressing with pinto beans. That's weird, right? That's a weird flavor combo. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's fine, but it's just, I think pinto beans, I think refried beans, you know, I think of more Mexican flavors, more cumin, chili powder, stuff like that. Not uh, dill. And there's a little bit of black pepper, some uh, Herbamare. Here's a giant container of Herbamare. Basically, it's just sea salt with herbs. Yeah, I remember that. That stuff tasted really good. Uh, but yeah, it's just sea salt, so it doesn't have any iodine or anything in it. It's, it's less uh, sodium than regular salt because it's got a bunch of herbs and stuff mixed in. And it's, it's really, really tasty, but uh, yeah, no iodine and probably really expensive. Fourth of a teaspoon is 360 milligrams of sodium versus a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, which is like 500 something. So it's a little lower in- Was I worried about sodium? Like, 
<laughs> I'm eating mostly fruit. I guess I was concerned about sodium. I don't know. And then I added some nutritional yeast. And I've really come to like it after I just kind of started, I tried it in this salad and I was like, oh, I really like that. Yeah, I remember hating it. I remember first going vegan and trying it and was just like, this is disgusting. But I couldn't remember when I started using it and liking it. I guess that's when I started putting it on this weird ass salad and that's what did it. Oh, and I forgot to add that the beans have been cooked. I like to sprout them first and then cook them. So these aren't canned beans. Um, I will use canned beans occasionally if I forget to sprout or don't feel like cooking or something. But for the most part, I just take dry beans and sprout them and then cook them. More fruit. I kind of remember that. God damn, that's even more peaches. Okay, fuck, I want some peaches. It improves bioavailability to some degree, but is it worth doing? Again, if you're eating just a regular vegan diet where you should be eating, meeting your nutritional needs, like there's no reason to do that unless you're dealing with gas and bloating. But if it's a, a nutritional concerns, it's probably not worth it. Maybe in my case, because it looks like 90% of my diet was fruit. <laughs> oh, and nutritional yeast, very, very valuable on this diet, right? Lots of B vitamins, which I was probably fine on, except for B12. I don't know if that was fortified with B12. Seems like they all are now. And I was supplementing for B12 at the time, actually. I had already started supplementing. I started supplementing when I was fully raw, quote unquote, I'm pretty sure. But also some protein and nutritional yeast as well. So probably a uh, necessary addition. <laughs> Again, lots of fruit. Afternoon meal in between uh, lunch and dinner. And this oh, is this is a snack. Much hey, but that's like another salad that looks like kale. That's pretty good, actually. This might turn out to be a pretty good day. I think I see some beans in there. Hey, now. Oh, I was going to say, um, I've noticed just over the last couple years or so, maybe, that, you know, it's harder for me to eat really large meal, even normal size meals sometimes. I don't know. I guess it's just getting older. Sometimes I struggle, like, and I still, I'm still in that, like, I don't know, my, my 20s mindset in terms of how much I can eat. And partner will be like, no, you're not. No, what are you doing? Like, no. And then, yeah, inevitably he's, he's right. That's not true. He wasn't right the other night. Was that last night? I made three delicious tacos, giant ass tacos with uh, beyond meat and like peppers and stuff. They were so delicious and I ate them all. So he was wrong once, <laughs> once out of a hundred. My point is looking at all of these meals, it's just, man, I just can't even, I would be in so much pain. I feel like even if I tried to do this for weeks on end, I it would just, I would never be able to eat that much food again. Today I'm just having a bowl of some beans, a cup of beans, a cup of rice, brown rice, and a bunch of steamed kale, like several ounces of steamed kale. So you can see that. Yeah, I can see it. I also have some more herbamere, a fourth of a teaspoon of that, a little bit of black pepper, and what else did I put in here? Uh, some cumin and a little bit of uh, mild chili powder, ancho chili powder. So that's really good. That's a vegan ass meal if I ever saw one. That is like the, what do vegans eat? A step above like just carrots? I don't know, grass? It's like this. Y'all eat this, right? If we're desperate, no, I mean, you can, you can make that fine. Certainly a meal of like all those components could be tasty, right? Brown rice and beans and greens, right? It's a, it's a grain bean green bowl. We've all had them. A lot of us like them, at least occasionally. Maybe not like this, you know, and maybe not with the herbamere and the cumin and the, this is just weird stuff going on, you know? And no, is there no fat? Yeah, no, no fat at all. No fat in that. So yeah, that could definitely be improved upon and be a, a really tasty meal. I mean, even just sauteing the kale in like garlic and onion would be a huge improvement. Finally, we have a late night snack of, you guessed it, more fruit. In this case, more peaches. When peaches are in season and when I can actually get good ones, which doesn't you know, kind of rare out here, I would absolutely eat like half my diet from from peaches, so not much has changed. The calorie ratio is uh, pretty similar to what it was before. It's just the carbs are a little less and the protein is a little higher. Now, the reason I've chosen to focus more on beans as opposed to like 
grains and potatoes. They are more nutrient dense than grains, than cereal grains and other starches are. But as I said in my other video on eating uh, cooked foods, uh, I've had some issues with smelly gas and that's very likely just from the beans. So uh, I will definitely be playing around with that and possibly cutting back on the beans and in including more foods like potatoes and, and sweet potatoes in my diet. So that's exactly what I was talking about in the in the last one about bloating, except in this case, it's not 100% raw, but it's pretty much the same diet, just with a few more foods added, right? Potatoes and beans. So because I'm struggling with smelly gas eating beans, well, I can't just choose other good protein sources because there are no other options unless I want to eat more processed stuff like mock meats, right? There's like quinoa, but that's pretty much it. And I'm, I've never liked quinoa. That's just like not, not reasonable, right? So what do I do? Oh, I'm going to eat more potatoes and, and sweet potato. <laughs> Great. Impossible. I guess it is if you just live on processed foods. That's unfortunate. Uh, but anyway, please share Wait, your what? comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear from you what you eat on your diet, whether it's all raw or mostly raw or no raw, <laughs> if that's even possible. I guess it is if you just live on processed foods. That's unfortunate. Uh <laughs> oh my God, how things have changed. <laughs> just thinking about my breakfast, man. It's like four pieces of, of bread with uh, tofu. I made a vegan French toast, which yes, I still have it. <laughs> still have it every morning. But uh, I made one with, with blended up tofu and whatnot because I wanted to make sure I had a backup plan just in case just decides to do the same shit they did with their mayo to their egg and just be like, nah, we're just, we're just done with it. Bye. I'm not going to tell you why or anything. It's just gone. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> and I have like no options. So I wanted to make sure that I could make something tasty with, uh, with tofu. And it is very, very tasty. I really like it. I actually like it more than the just eggs. I had that just blended up tofu and soy milk and flavors and stuff and bread and some maple syrup. And some fruit on the side, some cantaloupe on the side, but like pretty, pretty processed, right? Bread's, <laughs> bread's pretty processed. Tofu is technically processed, right? Coffee, which I still wasn't drinking. Caffeine at the time. Oh, I had a Nugo bar before that, actually. I had, so technically I had coffee and a Nugo bar, which is <laughs> certainly processed. And then after my workout and everything, then I had the, the French toast and the cantaloupe. Oh, and then I had a bowl of... <laughs> Then I had a bowl of Quaker life because I was in a hurry and I was hungry. <laughs> I'll eat something healthy for dinner. Oh, I had some carrots. I had several uh, baked little carrot fry things. It's a vegetable. So that's it. Great timing. Sounds like partner's home with tiny baby. I hear the squeaking above me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I might put this into chronometer and see see what it looks like. Like I said, I think it's going to be pretty good. It just needs more more fat really. And it might be, I don't know, that seems like it was a lot of calories just from all the, well, no, it's just peaches. So I really didn't eat that many bananas. I don't know. I'll put it into chronometer and uh, see what it looks like. So I plugged everything in. It was actually really easy. So the, the walnut milk, I was like, oh shoot, how did I make walnut milk? Well, I've been using chronometer for so long that I actually had it in here. It's, it's a custom recipe. It's walnut milk and then I've got parentheses me. And so I'm pretty sure that's the walnut milk I was using. And I've got a, a cup here and 69 calories, 1.6 grams of protein, 6.9 grams of fat. That sounds right because I know the nut milks I made were um, a lot higher in calorie than what you would buy in the store, right? Because they actually had had like a, a, a lot of nuts in them, right? <laughs> Instead of like two for an entire half gallon. Got the peaches, got the salad there with the cup of beans. I put a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. That sounds probably about right, I would guess. I also had the dressing, the hemp seed ranch dressing from the raw project. Had that in there too, even put a serving. So I put, I put a serving. I'm assuming that's what I used on the salad. More peaches, the kale brown rice pinto bean salad type thing. And then again, more peaches. So you can see here, it's a lot of calories, 2,143 calories. That's insane. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't eat that much now unless I have a really, really, really active day. Protein, 84 grams. That's pretty awesome. I have my thing set to 85. That's kind of the minimum 
I like to hit every day, but certainly it's well over the, the RDA. So yeah, pretty awesome. Look at that lysine. Again, there's, there's bean, there's two cups of beans, two cups of beans. So yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna do a lot for you right there. Fat omega threes. Awesome. I mean, I personally would like to get more fat than that. Not just from a deliciousness perspective, but also possibly for fertility. That's just something I, I would kind of, uh, worry about eating so low fat if I were trying to get pregnant. And of course, when was this from? Did I say 2013? Well, a few years later, I did. And I was eating significantly more fat by then. So <laughs> yeah, um, that, that's just something I would be a little bit concerned about. Just getting, you know, just adding a few more nuts or something into the diet. But certainly omega-3s, 5.2 grams. Vitamins all looking, looking real good. Vitamin D, I was getting sun, I think. Or maybe I was taking a supplement by then. I'm not sure. Sodium, I did put in the, the Herbamare, which I also had in there. Look at me, man. It's crazy how long I've used this, this software. That's nuts. Um, yeah, so pro probably a little bit more sodium would be maybe uh, a good idea. So maybe just regular salt, maybe iodized salt, right? Because I certainly wasn't getting a lot of iodine, iodine in this uh, diet. Wasn't eating a whole lot of seaweed. And calcium, maybe a little bit low on calcium. You know, just replace the walnut milk with, with uh, some store-bought fortified nut milk or soy milk. There you go. And I'm getting so much vitamin C and eating a lot of that with my meals that have a lot of iron, right? The pinto bean meals. So certainly non-heme iron absorption is going to be improved a lot by the presence of all that vitamin C. So that is terrific. Pretty great. Definitely a healthy, healthy day. Lots of sugar, obviously. Wait, oh my God, 186.9 grams. Now that's coming from fruit. So like who gives a shit, but that's, man, that's a lot of sugar. I think the thing that, um, that strikes me, maybe it shouldn't. It's not like I was super lean or anything when I was doing this. Not that that's the most important thing or anything, but I, I, I'm, I'm like the same weight I am now. I'm eating just the saddest food other than the peaches. Delicious. But <laughs> You know, if, if I'm going to be eating just fucking beans and fruit all day, I better look like Britney Spears slave for you VMAs. You know what I'm talking about? Like that, 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 yes. If I'm going to put all that effort, that's what I want to look like. If not, no, sir. No, thank you. And I've got like smelly, nasty gas. No, come on. I'm being silly. Kind of. I mean, not really. Eh, kinda, I don't know. I guess I'm not being silly. <laughs> it's a lot of work for, I'm not sure what exactly the point is. It's a little bit healthier than I eat now. Sure. But like what, maybe it's reducing my risk for cancer by like half a percentage point. I mean, I still get lots of antioxidants and yeah, what exactly is it, is it doing over what I'm doing now? It's not clear. It's not clear, but it's a lot of work and I did it for a long time. So good for me, I guess. Certainly an improvement over the, like I said, the, the fully raw, what I ate in a day, low fat fruit disaster. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, support the channel, patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. And I will have a new video very soon. Oh yeah, onlyfans.com slash unnatural vegan. I'm just adding more and more things. Teespring.com slash whatever, whatever, whatever. And there's a baby. I hear the god dang, they're so fast now. When did this happen? <laughs> just straight up running. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway. Happy Halloween. I'll have the Halloween candy part two video up, uh, hopefully within the next few days. And yeah, I guess let me know what else you guys want to see. Q and A video. I was thinking about doing another Q and A. I think someone asked the last time I asked for video suggestions and I looked and it's been like two years. I don't, how did that, whatever. How does time work? Uh, yeah. So maybe send me Q and A. You know what? I'll set up a community post thing right? Yeah, I'll do that. So put your, put your, uh, put your questions there and people upvote it. You know how this works. Anyway, again, thank you for watching. I should have a video soon. I just want to leave this up all year. I'm not going to, cause then it won't be special, but I really just want to leave it up all year. It's so cute. I got to find something else to put, to put here, you know, to do something, but so cute.
love Halloween. Didn't really care for it as a kid. I mean, I like the candy, but I never liked dressing up. It was like, whatever. But now that I've got kids, oh my God, it is so much fun. This whole month is so hype. Even with everything going on, man, it's awesome.